Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a while, life has been absolutely hectic but I finally got around to filming a tutorial and I'm going to do this vintage rose look today. I've kindly been sent the new Magpie Fall collection so I'm going to go through those, show you the swatches and then use one of them for my tutorial at the end of the video. So let's dive straight in. First up I have Movilus Mavis and this is what it says on the tin. It is a gorgeous creamy mauve colour. And then we have Ruby Murray. So this is a deep red with a really bright golden sheen running through it. And it actually reminds me a little bit of Georgie Porgy, which is a different colour, but it has that same golden sheen going through it. So then we have Teresa Green. This is your perfect autumn winter forest green and it's a cream shade so there's no shimmer in there at all. Then we have Patter Cake and this is a really lovely autumn shimmery brown. So I definitely have a few favourites from this collection. This is one of them. It's Lucky Penny and it's the most beautiful reddy orangey shade. This is another favourite, I love my blues, this is Midnight Sky and it's a gorgeous creamy dark navy colour, it's beautiful. Pipsqueak is a lovely pinky nude shade. So last but not least and my first favourite, this is Marla Mouse. And as soon as I saw it, I just thought vintage nails. It's that really lovely shade of dusty pink. And I'm going to be using this in my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to do these nails today, particularly this accent nail. The other ones are just stamped with the same image, but the middle one is obviously slightly different. I've seen quite a few of these cut out designs, so thought I'd have a go. So I'm using my new Dixie Crystal Tip Display today to show you. So the design I'm showing you today has got two colours. So instead of having one layer of colour and then going over the top with another, it just makes the nail look a little bit too chunky. So I've got a base coat on here which is all about the base by Magpie and then I'm going to go in with one layer of Marla Mouse but I'm actually going to use a clean up brush to cut out the section that I'm going to put the other colour so the actual nail is going to be quite flush it's not going to be super super bulky. So this is where you need to think about what shape you're going to go for. And obviously this gel is still wet so just perfect your shape and then once you're happy just cure that in your lamp. Mm -hmm. 
And then to make the colour a little bit more opaque, I'm just going in with another second coat. So the second colour I'm using is Nude Jude and this is going to be my background for the rose decal. So here I'm just decanting a little bit and then I'm just going to fill in the gap with a liner brush. So once that section's filled in, that can go ahead and be cured. And then I've got these really pretty rose decals from my store and I'll put the link in the description box below. So I've just cut out a little tiny one and then this just needs to soak for about 10 to 20 seconds in just some lukewarm water. And then I just fish it out with some tweezers and just blot it on some kitchen paper just to get any excess water off. Slide it off the backing and then slide it onto the nail and then just press that down. Now you can do this on a tacky layer or a, a wiped uh, inhibition layer, it's entirely up to you, however you wanna work. So I have just quickly top coated that because I'm adding some stamping. I'm using Dixie Plates Mega Manny Mix 02 and it's this flower image at the top. So these are gonna be stamped on all of the other nails apart from the accent nail. So this accent nail, I'm using the image here from Autumn 02. And I'm just gonna quickly show you the rest of the plate because it is super cute. There's so much stuff on there for Autumn. There's trees, there's leaves, there's little tiny animals that you can layer. Love the hedgehog, love the robin, and this fox is actually one of my favorites. It's so, so cute. So I'm using a pearly white to stamp with, which is called Moonshine from Hit The Bottle. And then I'm using my trusty Dixie Plates Big Red. Now this is the stamper that you just need to kiss the plate with. Don't roll or squish this stamper if you have it. You just need to tap it so lightly on the plate and it will pick up the image perfectly every time. So after stamping, obviously I've got some on the area that I don't want. So you could mask that off if you wanted to but it's just as easy to go in with a cleanup brush and some acetone and just get the rest of the stamping polish off. And then to frame the outside of the rose, I'm going to use these tiny caviar beads. On mine, I used the white gold ones, but I'm just gonna use the rose gold today. So I've got Magpie Give Me Strength, which is their sort of nail gel strengthener and it's just clear so I've just put a line around the rose and then I'm just going to apply these with a liner brush. Now I am doing this very quickly and very haphazardly but I just wanted to quickly show you how to do it but you get the idea like actually just a row of two all around the edge would look really nice. Mine looks a little bit messy but you totally get the gist it's entirely up to you if you wanted to recreate this on how you do it. So once that's done, you can cure that. So last thing to do is just go over the sections with your top coat. I'm finishing off with Magpie Don't Be Tacky, so it has no tacky layer. And I'm just going up to the beads. Don't go over them because it will make it look a little bit too chunky. And then you need to cure that. And then this is the finished nail. So I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and it's given you some inspiration. Thank you to Magpie for sending me the autumn collection. I absolutely love it. So go and check out Magpie Beauty if you wanted to purchase any of those gels. And thank you so much for watching, guys, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.